Today for art, I am going to show you how to draw a shark or a dolphin. Now I'm going to use two pieces of paper to show you how to draw them at the same time, but you don't have to draw both. You can choose just one to draw. So the first step for both is to create a, an, a C shape that's on its side. So this kind of shape. And you wanna make sure you don't draw this teensy tiny. Cause if you draw it teensy tiny, you're gonna run out of room. So kind of like a rainbow shape. And we're doing that on both. Now we're gonna create another rainbow shape, except it's gonna be really skinny on this side and really wide on this side. So I'm gonna start wide over here so we have enough room for our dolphin's head. And then really skinny over here because their tails get really skinny before they get to the big fin of the tail. Same thing on this side with a bunch of room for the head and a little bit of room for the tail. Now I'm gonna do the dorsal fin. That's the fin on the back. And dolphins have a little bit of a rounder fin. And sharks are a little bit more pointy. Just like that. Now, for a dolphin's face, we're going to, I'm going to curve this out and around and stop about halfway. Curve and stop about halfway there. Now, dolphins have a, almost like a snout on their nose, kind of like how animals have their nose sticks out from the rest of their head. They call it a bottle nose because it looks kind of like a bottle. And so what I did just then was a big, long, skinny U shape, and then it connected up to there. Now, from here, I'm going to do a curve for the smile. And it's kind of a long, skinny smile, and it curves up way back there. And the eye is pretty close to the mouth, right there. Now, for our dolphin's tail, we're gonna curve down, over, and down. Down over and down. Now from the middle right here, I'm going to go to do a curve and a curve. Then I'm going to do a U shape on each end to connect them. Now, from the point of the smile, I'm going to create a curve that goes all the way around and it's gonna to touch right here where the long end of the tail meets the fin. If I ever go too fast, you can always pause the video, rewind to where you need it, and then press play when you're ready. So the line I just did went from the corner of the mouth up, around, and down, touching here. Now I've kind of neglected my shark. I've been doing the dolphin this whole time, so I'm going to switch over to doing the shark to finish this guy up. Neither of them are finished because I still have some more fins to do on the dolphin. So for the shark, I'm going to bring this line down and curving just a little bit. Not all like halfway, like I did with the dolphin. It stops, it just curves a tiny bit in. Then I'm going to do a diagonal line going up. See how this diagonal line goes up just a little bit. Now I'm going to do a smile. And this side is shorter than this one. Then I'm going to connect these with a curve. And if you want to put pointy teeth in your shark's mouth, you just do a zigzag line. Just like that. 
and a shark's eye is pretty far back. It's not very close to his nose. If you want to, you can even add a little dot for his nostril, for how he smells things in the water. Now we're gonna do this kind of line on our shark, but it's going to touch in a different place. Or no, in the same place, same place. So on his nose, between his mouth and the little dot we did for his nostril, we're going to go in between the mouth and the eye, up and around, and end up at the same place. Now the fin is going to be pretty similar. We're just gonna have it be a little bit more pointy so it looks a little bit more aggressive because sharks are like aggressive. So I'm going to go down and out, down and out. Then I'm gonna start in the middle, down and swoop, down and swoop again. So these fins are similar, but not the same. Now all that's left, I think, is the, the fins on the sides. And to do that, we do a curve here and a curve here so that that's pointy. Same thing for the dolphin, except we're going to make this one over here a little bit rounded. So I do two like that, and then I put the tip as a little bit of a U. And dolphins have a blowhole on the top of their head, so you could do a little hole way back here as an oval. And that's where they breathe out of, or where they get all the air out, I mean all the water out from inside them. And we are done. All that's left is to color. So I'm going to fast forward the coloring so you don't have to sit here through all of that. Make sure that as you're coloring these, you are being intentional. You are coloring like a three-star colorer. You are coloring with intention. That means you are coloring while you're thinking. You're not just scribbling all over the place, but you are thinking about what you're coloring, thinking about staying inside the lines, thinking about coloring in all of the little white spots, all the little spots that peekaboo through, and color intentionally color while you're thinking. I am so excited to see which one you chose, whether you decided to do a dolphin or a shark or maybe even both, and to see how they turned out and how you colored them in and what e even what colors you chose. So take a picture of these, making sure that you are following the photo tips like we learned from Monday, and do your very best, and I can't wait to see them. Have a good rest of your day.